Okay, I'm going to take you guys through this problem rather quickly. So try to pause it at appropriate points and take some notes. And I'm also not going to use the numbers that are posed in the original problem. You can try the problem yourself later with the actual numbers, but I'm going to suppose that tuition is $5,000 a year, a room and board is $10,000, so that's $15,000 a year for four years. So that's $60,000. That's going to be her original loan amount. And then she's going to pay 4.5% interest compounded monthly for a year to get a new loan amount, which is going to be bigger than $60,000. Okay. And once we have that new loan amount, then for the next 10 years, she's going to start paying that back. And we got to figure out what her monthly payment is going to be. So here on board two, here's the $60,000. And here's the compound interest formula where P is the original principal, R is the uh, interest rate as represented as a decimal, N is the number of compounding periods, and T is the number of years. So if I put that, uh, get this out of here, on a, a, if I write substitute in the numbers that we know, this is what it looks like. And here's a calculation done on Desmos. Looks like the new loan amount is going to be 62756 rounded to the nearest dollar, $756. And here is the same calculation done on a TI-83 using what's called the TVM solver. And at the end of this video, I'll show you how to at least get the TVM solver up and running. <clears throat> but there's her new loan amount. And now we've got to figure out the interest rate. I'm sorry, the, the payment that she has to make in order to pay off that loan in 10 years. And here's the loan formula. Pretty complicated looking thing. Uh, and we really want to isolate that quantity right there what is her payment going to be so over here i've kind of showed how to do that multiply both sides by this fraction that gives you p sub zero times r over n and then divide both sides by the coefficient of payment which is this thing so there is the formula for payment in terms of interest rate number of compounding periods, initial principal, and the number of years. And so here I kind of created a function on Desmos to do that calculation. And if I pass in those values, it looks like the loan, the payment per month is going to be $650. And you can see in the TVM solver, I got the same thing. Now, how does that TVM solver work? Uh, I'm going to share my screen. And here's my TI-83 simulator. If I turn that on and go to apps, and it's already positioned on finance, click the enter key. First entry is TVM solver. And that N is the number of payments that you're going to make. So there's 12 payments per year times 10 years. That's the number of payments she's going to make. The interest rate on the TVM solver, you don't use it as a decimal. It's already assumed to be a percentage, so you say 4.5%. The present value is the loan amount you're paying off, 62756. 62756. Payment is what we want to know, and we have to say payments per year is 12, and the compounding uh, per year is on a monthly basis. And so now if I position on the payment field and hit alpha, enter, 
that gives us this function right here and it'll calculate the payment and that's money out of your pocket that's why it's minus so minus 650. okay there you go hope that helped if you have any questions post a comment try what we just did with the numbers uh posed in the original problem